Are you a pro wrestling fan? Then odds are at some point in your life, you were a backyard wrestler. In this new series, I'm gonna take you through how we came from this to this. It's a long story covering nearly two decades. But if you're a nostalgic person missing the backyard days of yesteryear and a simpler time of the 90s and early 2000s, this is the story for you. This is Backyard Wrestling Cinema. Welcome to Backyard Wrestling Cinema Season 4, Episode 1. On our last season, our world champion, Homeboy Joe Slice, took home the world title, and we're now entering the fall of 2002. Little did we know that was going to be the last autumn we would all see as a group. Now at this time, some of the guys were going to start going to work, and some of us were going back into high school, so we had to set up a set schedule in order to film the show. We selected Mondays as the day that seemed, it seemed to work for everybody, but by the time we got home from school and people got off work, it only really left us of, with two hours of daylight during the fall, especially once that time change occurred. Some people were actually getting there a little bit later because of work, so we created the idea of splitting the roster and creating a completely separate show and company called the XWA to split the roster in half and tape half the show in daylight and the other half at night. This tape starts off with an issue we were having with the music. Back then we had this overcomplicated five disc CD player and it came with like additional speakers and sometimes the CDs would skip or just go to an alternate CD right in the middle of it. So you can see I was just really just having a tough time of it. Start over again. Up first, Rico DMF came out for Cletus's match. He was on crutches because the week beforehand, he had his match with Christian Greed, our referee, the only legitimate trained wrestler we had in the company. It was Christian Greed's first match in B4W, and he spent most of the match working on Rico's leg. This match was between the Beast and Cletus, and it was for the US and TV title tournament. Now, if you're thinking this US TV title tournament, which was a 16-man tournament, is gonna be pretty awesome, Hang on, because I don't think we ever finish it. In the end, Rico distracted referee Christian Greed, threw in his crutch, which allowed Cletus to get the win. Three, and Cletus has won the match. Next up on this tape, there was a quick clip of uh, Tommy Thunder and Mr. Benjamins testing out some camera tricks they wanted to try. Uh, Benjamins would actually later become a bit of a celebrity for a short while, while Vine was a thing. If you remember that app, uh, he was pretty popular over there. They even sent him like a bunch of like swag and shit like that. So Mr. Benjamin was just, he was always good with camera work and, and messing around with stuff and was always trying new things. Tommy Thunder and Mr. Benjamin's had a match and it was part of the US TV title tournament. They went back and forth with Thunder getting the win. Oh, no, wait a minute. What's he going, what is he going for? Not from the top. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. The lightning bolt from the top rope! Call that one, one, two, one, two, three! Tommy Thunder's done it! In the end, Tommy Thunder accused Christian Greed, the referee, of counting slow. I don't remember why, but I don't know, maybe we'll find out together. Oh, I am! Tommy Thunder, you like this? Take out the foot, go over, try to the hip! I'll do it to any man at any time! I'm Holly Thunder, and I will bury anyone in this federation! Bury him! Whoa! As the, the, one of the leaders! I came out next and said I was resigning as the owner of B4W and, and starting my own federation because B4W and the B4W team had destroyed the set of another public access show. And this was actually Christian Greed's show. He hosted a horror show called The Haunted Theater. And we did an angle where we all showed up. He interviewed a couple of guys but then they destroyed the set because he was working on getting a new set. So I made that like that was the reason I was trying to leave B4W because we had all become so unprofessional and unmanageable. What is this, an invasion or what? Hey guys, guys, guys. The battle royal or what? Yo, what? Beat the crap out of us, Beat the crap out of Whoa, whoa, hey guys, what are you doing? 
Hey, well, look, we got a special match going on right here in the Haunted Theater, huh? No, they're not the Raven. What are you doing, guys? Oh! Hey, what? The guys are wrecking the set. What are you doing? Hey! Whoa, whoa I don't like this. What, what? What's going on here? Oh! <laughs> you all right? I say the plan is to take the hardcore title, the source of many problems in B4W, and rename it the XWA title. I take on the current champion TLD, and we even brought out the fake blood in this one. In the end, thanks to handcuffs and assistance from Bobby Bo, who was my bodyguard, I won the hardcore title. We slapped an XWA sticker right on the front of it and christened the title with TLD's blood. The XWA? The XWA, christened in blood. And the XWA was officially born, but it wouldn't remain in this form for very long. Next up was TJ Money, fresh off of losing the world title. He would take on Bobby Bo, who came out with Christian Greed. They both still had blood on their hands from TLD, but TJ Money got the win after he hit his finisher, and Greed had no choice but to count the three. Oh, can't he? Here it's goes. over! No, last, no one's hit! TJ Money has hit the legendary. It's gotta be over! Let's go to count it! You have the first choice! One, one, two! No choice! Three! Three. No. Even with the stall, TJ Money picks up the victory! Next up was AJ Ice challenging Homeboy Joe Slice for his newly won world title. It was AJ Ice's best match his entire time in B4W, in my opinion. AJS was formerly known as Mumbles, and he was doing the type of match here that I, I always thought he was capable of. Probably not. Oh, jackhammer there. Just took you off. One, two, oh. And I thought at the time it stood up to anything else anyone on the roster was doing. What'd he go? What's he doing? Ice is going up. He got him up. What's it going for? Oh! Oh, God. oh, with complete authority. In the end, Homeboy Joe Slice got the win and retained the title. He's calling for it. This is it. The drive oh, by! The drive by was in on AJ. Afterwards, the newly formed XWA came out. Now, if you're wondering what XWA stood for, it stood for Extreme Wrestling Alliance. I know you're blown away with how innovative that one is. And it was revealed that the Beast was now a part of the XWA. We threw the B4W title in the garbage. That's the punishment there. That's the punishment. Pick them up and make them one. Christian Green said, sit them up and make them watch. What is he gonna do? Oh my God. Just disgracing the, the hell is wrong with him? Oh, Denver Street throwing the B4W title I, into the garbage. I, the I really he, wish that he used to pride himself on. But none of this footage would really ever get used. These shows were missing something, so a lot of them would never even air. Looking back, I can kind of see what's missing. A story. There, there's no vignettes and hardly any true funny moments. The show was just too serious and not as fun to watch as it was to make. I was totally okay then with letting our vision of perfection get in the way of good enough. And that was always a problem for me when I was younger, as we would go on to film more episodes that I would just throw in the garbage and never use and they would never see the light of day. And the same thing would happen next week. And we'll talk about it all right here on Backyard Wrestling Cinema. Oh God! You gonna show how to do it? Oh! That's gone the bomb. Yep. No, oh, take me. Oh, it's it's over the light bulb. This is it. Oh, 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 you got him up. Oh, 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 around. Oh, that's a bomb. Oh, 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 oh,
the guy is sick. Shot to the back of the head. Yo, you know what? what a sick the man. Sick group. Oh, 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 oh,